In-game microtransactions leverage psychological principles to encourage players to make small purchases within games, often for virtual items, currency, or additional content. Here are some key psychological factors that contribute to the effectiveness of in-game microtransactions. Framing and Anchoring In-game microtransactions are often presented in a way that frames them as small, affordable purchases relative to the overall cost of the game or the value of the player's time. By anchoring the perceived value of virtual items or currency to real-world currency, developers can make microtransactions seem more appealing and justifiable to players. Scarcity and Urgency Limited time offers, exclusive items, and time-limited events create a sense of scarcity and urgency that motivates players to make impulse purchases before they miss out. Fear of missing out, FOMO, can drive players to spend money on microtransactions to acquire rare or time-limited items, even if they may not have originally intended to make a purchase. Reward Systems and Reinforcement in-game microtransactions often rely on reward systems and reinforcement mechanisms to encourage repeated spending. Randomized rewards, such as loot boxes or gotcha mechanics, tap into the psychological phenomenon known as variable reinforcement, where intermittent rewards reinforce behavior more effectively than predictable rewards. Social influence and peer pressure Social features, such as in-game leaderboards, social sharing, and multiplayer interactions, can influence players to spend money on microtransactions to keep up with or impress their friends or peers. The desire for social status, recognition, or competitiveness can drive players to invest in virtual items or currency that enhance their in-game performance or appearance. Convenience and instant gratification In-game microtransactions offer players convenience and instant gratification by allowing them to quickly and easily acquire virtual items or currency without the need for physical transactions or delays. The immediacy of microtransactions appeals to players' desire for instant rewards and can lead to impulsive spending behavior. Sunk Cost Fallacy The sunk cost fallacy, where individuals are more likely to continue investing in an activity or decision as they have already invested resources into it, can influence players to spend more money on microtransactions to justify or maximize their previous investments in the game. Personalization and Customization in-game microtransactions often offer players opportunities for personalization and customization, allowing them to tailor their gaming experience to their preferences. Players may be willing to spend money on microtransactions that enhance their avatar's appearance, abilities, or gameplay experience to express their individuality or identity within the game. Overall, the psychology behind in-game microtransactions involves leveraging cognitive biases, emotional triggers, and social influences to encourage players to make small, incremental purchases within games. By understanding these psychological factors, developers can design microtransaction systems that are engaging, profitable, and respectful of players' autonomy and well-being.